want to decorate one of these paper butterfly wings? Me! 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 me, me. <laughs> All the children are making beautiful butterfly wings. <laughs> oh, floor flare. Can we do a butterfly dance? Yes, but we don't start as butterflies, do we, children? No! no. What was the butterfly before it was a butterfly? A caterpillar! That's right. First, you should do the caterpillar dance. Yay! <laughs> You're all caterpillars wiggling around on the ground. <laughs> I'm the wiggliest caterpillar. Me too. I'm a super caterpillar. <laughs> and now it's time to go to sleep. Be very still, children. Imagine that you're nice and safe inside a cosy chrysalis. And you are changing into something different. Madame Gazelle and Dr Hamster are secretly putting the wings on the children. Now it's time to wake up and open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got wings! Me too! <laughs> we are butterflies! <laughs> Pedro Pony is fast asleep. Vicky, Vicky, Pedro! <gasps> what is it, Mummy? Am I late for school? No, you are at school. Oh, I'm a butterfly. No. Yes, we're all butterflies. We are little butterflies who like to play. We flap our pretty wings and we play all day. We are little butterflies flying through the sky and we flap, flap, flap as we flutter by. <laughs> Peppa loves being a butterfly. Everyone loves being a butterfly. Does anybody know what today is? It's window cleaning day. Apart from it being window cleaning day? It's Valentine's Day. Very good, Pepper. It is the day to give cards to the people we love. My daddy didn't get one this morning. What? Oh, how sad. I've finished cleaning the windows, Madame Gazelle. Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, dear. You look sad. Oh, I just heard that Daddy Pig did not get a Valentine card. No Valentine's card? No. Goodbye, Mr Bull. Goodbye. Children, today... We will all make Valentine's cards for the people we love. Yay! I'm going to make a Valentine's card for my mummy and daddy. I'm making a Valentine's card for my mummy and daddy. <laughs> I'm making a Valentine's card for Super Potato. And one for my mummy and daddy. <laughs> Mr Bull has gone to the supermarket. Hello, Mr Bull. You look sad. Well, I heard this morning that Daddy Pig didn't get a Valentine's card. No. Really? Did you hear that, Dr Hamster? Daddy Pig didn't get a Valentine's card. Oh, poor Pickle. Did you hear? Daddy Pig did not get a Valentine's card. Oh, dear. What was that? Nobody's ever given Daddy Pig a Valentine's card. <gasps> <laughs> Finish, Madame Gazelle! What wonderful cards, children! I am sure whoever gets them will be very happy. <laughs> it is home time. <laughs> mummy, Mummy! We made Valentine's cards for you and Daddy! Oh, lovely! I remember Madame Gazelle gave me a playgroup star when I was a little piggy. A long time ago, when Mummy and Daddy Pig were little, Madame Gazelle was their teacher. <laughs> Here is a playgroup star. <laughs> I was so happy. Did you get lots of playgroup stars, Mummy? Oh, yes. Daddy, did you get lots of playgroup stars too? Uh, it was such a long time ago, I really can't remember. No, I'm pretty sure you didn't get one, did you? <gasps> you never got a playgroup star, Daddy! 
No, I never did get a playgroup star. Not even a little one? No. Anyway, like Daddy Pig said, it was a long time ago, Peppa. And they're really not that important. What do you mean, Mummy? They are very important, aren't they, Daddy? Uh, yes, Peppa. Are you sad that you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? Well, I have done other things in my life to be proud of, you know. Maybe if you do a good drawing and show Madame Gazelle, she will give you one now. Playgroup stars are for children, Peppa, not for grown-ups. There, the roof is all fixed. Thank you, Mr Bull. That really is wonderful work. Have a playgroup star. Oh, thank you very much. Look, Daddy, Mr Bull's got a star and he's a grown-up. Hmm. It is evening time. Pepper and George are going to bed. Are you still sad because you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? You know what, Pepper? The more I think about it, the more I think I should have got a playgroup star. School project. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, who can tell me what this is? It's a castle. That's right, Danny. And for your school project, I want you to go home and make a castle. Wow! You can make your castles from any old bits and bobs you find at home. Cardboard, plastic bottles, egg boxes... Can we use glitter? <gasps> Please, not too much glitter. It gets everywhere. Can I make the castle big? Make it as big as you like. The only limit is your imagination. It is breakfast time at Peppa's house. Mummy, Daddy, I've got some very good news. What's that, Peppa? I am doing a new school project. Uh, school project? Oh, what is it, Peppa? I need to make a castle. OK. Why don't you use this empty cereal box? Stick these yogurt pots on the sides. And what have you got? A box with pots on it. No, Daddy, it has to be good. Peppa, what exactly did Madame Gazelle tell you to do? She told us to use our imagination. And a fantastic castle is what I am imagining. <coughs> and my castle has to be big enough for me to live in. I see. Right. It is breakfast at Susie Sheep's house. Madame Gazelle told you to make a real fairy palace? Yes, with all the little fiddly bits. <laughs> Hello? Sorry, but I can't come into work today. It's a school project! <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> Thanks, but I should be able to manage. This is what my castle looks like, but much, much bigger. If it needs to be big, we should use concrete. No, Daddy Pig. We just need to find a big enough cardboard box. Have we got a big box? Uh, no. Morning, children. Where is Madame Gazelle? Here I am. Oh. I was wearing a mask. <laughs> you were in disguise. Yes, and today you will all be making masks. Hooray! We have cardboard and coloured paper, <laughs> crayons and paints, <laughs> feathers, pipe cleaners, buttons, pom-poms. Can we use glitter? <gasps> no glitter. Please, Madame Gazelle. Please, Madame Gazelle. No, I have only just managed to clean up from the last glitter event. Begin your masks, children. <laughs> Pepper is using coloured tissue paper. I'm making a butterfly mask. <laughs> Danny Dog is using buttons and drinking straws. I'm making a robot mask. <laughs> Susie Sheep is using feathers. I'm making a magic owl mask. Twit twoo! I've made a superhero mask. Nay. I've made a carrot mask. <laughs> And my little brother Richard is a baby carrot. We like carrots. <laughs> George has made a dinosaur mask. Dinosaur. 
<laughs> and what mask is yours, Edmund? It is the solar system with all the planets. I see. I've included Pluto, even though it's only classed as a planetoid. Very good. Edmund Elephant is at Clever Clogs. So, are we all finished? Mine would look better with some glitter on it. Please, can we have some glitter, Madam Gazelle? Glitter, 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 glitter. There are lots glitter, of other shiny glitter, things you can glitter. use. Not as good as glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. No, glitter gets everywhere. There is no getting rid of it once it comes out. It is a menace. Aha! I'm the happy pirate from the pirate book. <laughs> Pirates are my favourite because they are funny and they sing happy songs and... Brush their teeth? Yes, brush their teeth. <laughs> are we all ready for World Book Day tomorrow? No. <coughs> my favourite book keeps changing. Oh, oh, don't worry, Pepper. You can decide in the morning. Today is World Book Day. Oh, my. What wonderful costumes. Tell us, Pedro, who are you? I'm the hunter from Little Red Riding Hood. He's strong and brave and kind to old ladies. Uh, Very good. And I am Dogbeard the Sailor from the adventures of Dogbeard the Sailor. And why is he your favourite? Because he's strong and brave. And I think he might be kind to old ladies too. Excellent. I'm an old lady. So you are, Candy. But are you not also a witch? Yes, so be careful or I might turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Edmund? You have come as... The big number from Mummy Pig's book. <laughs> 476,859,312. Oh, what an amazing choice. Ah, George, you are dressed as... Dinosaur. <laughs> but where is Pepper? Here I am. Ooh. What book are you, Pepper? I am all my favourite books. I have fairy wings, a pirate hat, Aha! a red monkey tail, and quack quack duck feet. <laughs> You're a fairy pirate monkey duck. <laughs> Peppa loves World Book Day. Everyone loves World Book Day. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. It is good to eat five fruit and vegetables every day. Children. Mr. Potato has come to find out how much we all know about fruit and vegetables. We know everything about fruit and vegetables. And I know everything about carrots. Good, because today we are going to have a fruit and vegetable quiz. Ooh! What is a quiz? A quiz is where I ask you a question, and if you know the answer, you press the buzzer. <laughs> Ah! We will need two teams. Peppa, Rebecca and Pedro will be on one team. Susie, Danny and Mandy will be on the other team. <laughs> Let's begin. Our first question is, which of these is not a vegetable? Lettuce, radish, celery or a car? <laughs> A car is not a vegetable. That is right. Hooray! Next question. A chocolate biscuit is a fruit. Yes or no? Yes, it's a fruit. My daddy eats five chocolate biscuits every day. Have another guess, Pedro. Is a chocolate biscuit a fruit? Uh, no. That's right. Hooray! And now, the fruit or vegetable questions. Fruit or vegetable? I hope he asks about carrots. What is a strawberry? Fruit or vegetable? A strawberry is a fruit. Yay! 
Breakfast. <laughs> that was fun. Wow, you're fast. All thanks to my wheelchair. <laughs> Why do you have a wheelchair, Mandy? <laughs> because my legs don't work like yours. Can you walk on your legs? No, I have my wheels. <laughs> See, I get around fine. I can do everything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play ball. Yes, please. <laughs> OK, Mandy, you're on my team. <laughs> Susie, you're on my team. <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> Pedro. <laughs> Molly. <laughs> and Emily. <laughs> The children are in two teams. How do you play this game? The captain takes the ball and throws it over there. No, I know the rules. And you're the not one holding them. Them. I say you do it this that way. That is the rules because I said so. <laughs> what about the team who gets the ball through the hoop wins? <laughs> OK. And they're off. <laughs> Emily Elephant catches the ball. Now Susie has it. Pass to Pedro. And now to Pepper. Mandy takes the ball. Pass to Danny. To Molly. And up high in the sky. Caught by Mandy Mouse. <laughs> to Gerald Giraffe. <laughs> Goal! <laughs> Mandy, you're good. I know. I'm brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Children, playtime is over. <laughs> <laughs> can I help you? No, I'll be fine. <laughs> I can do it by myself. <laughs> I like... Hills. It is a big hill. Yes, it is a big hill. Maybe if you could help push. OK. Thank you, Peppa. I could do it on my own, but it's easier with two. I'm not used to big hills. Where I lived before, it was all flat. Hello, children. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We've come for our gym lesson. Yes, the children are very excited. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll just set up the gym for you. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just keep relaxing. Relax. <laughs> hello, Mummy. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Pepper. I've come to do a class. Me too. <laughs> See you later. Now, where were we? Uh, we were just starting to relax. Oh, yes. Think of a beautiful woodland glade. Stillness, silence. <laughs> Children, are you ready for your gym class? Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. What's that? I can't hear you. Surely you can shout louder than that. Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. I want to see lots of jumping and climbing and running. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Slow down. Quicker, quicker! <laughs> Calm, harmony, stillness. Jump, jump, jump! Relax! <laughs> Hello, Mummy Pig! What are you doing here? I'm doing a relaxation class. Well, I hope this children's party doesn't disturb you. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, this is fun. I wonder how high I can go. <laughs> Just try to relax. Stop relaxing now. Relaxation class is over. How did you find it, Mummy Pig? Very, very stressful. Funny. That's what everybody says. Why don't you have a go on the bouncy castle? <laughs> yes, I think I will. Whee! This is wonderful. We will have a dragon dance with a big dragon like this. Ooh. Is it a scary dragon? No, Danny. It is a super friendly dragon. Where is it? We are going to make it. 
What's that? It looks like a sausage. It might look like a sausage now, but soon it will be a magnificent dragon. How do we make the sausage look like a dragon? With cardboard and paints, ribbons and your imagination. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are making a dragon. I'm giving the dragon scales like a fish. I'm giving the dragon googly eyes. <laughs> We're giving it the horns of a bull. Bull? Oh, that reminds me. Hello, Mr. Bull. Will the fireworks be ready for the dragon dance? Oh, yes. <laughs> Nearly done. The dragon is finished. Hooray! Now, who wants to carry the dragon? Me! me, 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 me. Who wants to carry a lantern? Me! me, 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 me. We need music too. Who wants to bang a cymbal or a drum? Me, 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 me. And I have made a lion costume to lead the dragon dance. Ooh! But who's going to be the lion? Moo! The fireworks are ready, Madam Gazelle. Mr. Bull, would you like to be a lion? It would be an honor. Hooray! <laughs> The dragon dance has begun. This is fun! <laughs> the parents are here to see the dragon dance. Wow! This is amazing! Yes, but where are the fireworks? Oh, the fireworks! I almost forgot! a lovely firework display. Hang on, there's more than that. Wow! This is the best Chinese New Year ever. I think George is too young to do bat and ball. You're never too young to play bat and ball, Peppa. Oh, all right. Just try your best, George. <laughs> George has hit the ball backwards. Run, George! <laughs> Get it! Get the ball! Oh, fetch it! George has run all the way round and scored a point. Hooray! Very good, George! <laughs> Thank you, Danny. And now it is my turn to bet. Aren't you too old, Madam Gazelle? You're never too old to play bat and ball, Pepper. Okay, just try your best. Ooh. Madam Gazelle is good at batting. You hit it a million miles. And now I run. <gasps> Catch the ball! I'll get it. Let me get the ball. Hooray! That's one point! The ball is going all the way to the school. Oh, I'll go round again. I'll get it! It's going the other way! Round again! Get the ball! I'm scoring lots of points! Get it! Here it comes! Catch the ball! No. Did you get it, Susie? No. Who's got it? I haven't got it. I win! I win! I am the champion! <laughs> George caught the ball. Hooray! I lose. I lose all my points. Well done, George. Hooray! <laughs> I'm going to play the tambourine. I'm going to play the recorder. I'm going to play the triangle. <laughs> we are not playing those musical instruments today. What? We will make our own musical instruments. But we can't make musical instruments. We're children. I am not asking you to make a piano or a trumpet, Peppa. We will be making musical instruments from all of these bits and bobs. Bottles and rubber bands. <sniffs> Balloons and yoghurt pots. Music can be made from anything that makes a sound. Ah! How do you use 
usually make sound with a musical instrument. You hit it with a stick. You blow into it like this. <coughs> or you shake it. <laughs> yes! Now, let's see what sounds you can make from these things. The children are going to make musical instruments. This box sounds like a drum. Oh, this is not a very good drum. Ah, but what happens if you add rubber bands? No, it's the same. Try plucking those rubber bands instead of hitting the box. Oh, it's not a drum at all. It's a twanger. <laughs> Susie has some bottles. These make a sound if you tap them with a pencil. Yes, and if I put different amounts of water into the bottles... Now try it. The water makes the bottle sound different. That's right, Susie. You can also blow across the bottle tops to get a sound. <laughs> You're making music. Wow! Practice makes perfect. Will you help me? Of course Daddy Pig will help you while I uh, do some work in another room. Susie is practicing too. Yes, that's it. La, 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 la. Very good, Danny. Shall we call that a day? No. Madam Gazelle said I had to keep on trying until I get it right. Pepper and her friends have been practising their recorders all week. They are giving a concert for the parents. Welcome to our concert. Ready, children? <gasps> Bravo! Bravo! Oh. Bravo! Haven't the children worked hard? Yes, it was a very good experience for them. It's hard to think it was only for a week of our lives. And now it's over. Children, for our next concert, I want you to learn this tune. Hooray! <laughs> Go home and practice, practice, practice. Pepper loves the recorder. Everyone loves the recorder. <laughs> I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights and they go... Nina, 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 Nina. Yes, yes. Perhaps now is a good time to phone your daddy and let him know how we're getting on. Oh, where is my phone? I must have put it down somewhere. Have you lost your phone, Madam Gazelle? Yes, I had it just now. Where can it be? Where did you last see it? If I knew that, Susie, I wouldn't be looking for it, would I? Why don't you always put things in the same place, Madam Gazelle? Then you will know where they are. Well, that is very good advice, Susie. But it is not always possible to put something down in the same place. Every time. We can help you find it. No, I think it is lost. Oh, what a mystery. Our daddy always says, keep your ears and eyes open. Yes? Well, if we keep our ears open and somebody calls your phone, then we will hear it ringing. And find my phone. Good idea. <laughs> Peggy and Pandora are very good at solving mysteries. So, who here has a phone? Madam Gazelle, we are little children. Little children do not have mobile phones. Oh, yes, of course. Hello. Hello. The pair
parents have arrived to pick up the children. Good afternoon, mummies and daddies. Could I ask one of you to call my phone, please? I can ring you, Madam Gazelle, but is it not easier to talk to you? I have lost my phone. If you call it, we will hear it ringing. And then you will find your phone. I understand. Brilliant. <laughs> It's in my handbag! It was in your handbag all the time! Yes, sorry about that, everyone. That was loud! That is the sound of Big Ben telling us the time. It rang three times, so it is three o'clock. If it rang six times, would that make it six o'clock? Yes, it would. And if it rang a hundred times? Then it would be broken. <coughs> On with the tour. Next stop, Tower Bridge. We need to cross the bridge to continue the tour. Stop! You can't cross! Look, there's a big ship. <coughs> to bang into the bridge. <gasps> the bridge is lifting up. Wow! Tower Bridge lifts to let tall ships sail through. Good. Now the ship has passed, we can be on our way. Please lower the bridge. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's another ship coming. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> The bus is balancing on the bridge. Now what do we do? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. OK. <laughs> Hooray! The Queen is good at driving buses. Are you enjoying your tour, children? Yes! yes. Buses are the best. Why aren't all buses open like this one? It is raining. Ah, yes. That's why all buses aren't open like this one. Children, open your umbrellas. It is very important to take an umbrella when you visit London. Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, yes Madame Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr. Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs. Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, gazelle, wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr. Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale or a shark? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs. Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! <laughs> <laughs> Mad 
Adam Gazelle? I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Don't worry, Pepper. You have plenty of time to think about it. OK. When I grow up, I want to be the Queen. So I can tell people what to do. I see. I think I might like to be a teacher. What is it about being a teacher that you like the most, Emily? Telling people what to do. OK. I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, Nina. Thank Nina, you, Freddy. Nina, woo. <laughs> what else do you like about being a policeman? They tell people what to do. Right. I would like to be a doctor or a nurse. Why do you think you would like that job, Susie? Because they help sick people get better. <laughs> Wonderful. And they tell people what to do. Yes, not all jobs are about telling people what to do. Oh. There are lots of other important jobs like being a builder or a poet. When I grow up, I will be a pirate. Uh -huh. Pirates sing happy songs and they go yo-ho-ho. -ho. Yes, I'm not sure that being a pirate is a job as such. Either a pirate or a farmer. Oh, yes. Being a farmer is much better. You would grow things and make food for us all to eat. And I'll tell all the animals what to do. Right. I will be a superhero. Being a superhero is a very important job. You have to run faster than a train, jump tall buildings and... I don't want to do all of those superhero things, but I do want to tell people what to do. <laughs> Yes, of course. Oh dear, what has happened? Tiddles fell on Pedro's nose. My nose hurts. Poor Pedro. I will call for the doctor. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. A bumped nose, you say? I'll be right there. <laughs> Hello. Where is the patient? Here. My nose hurts. I see. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... You need a plaster. There. That will make it better. Hooray! My glasses don't work. Pedro's glasses are all muddy. Oh, Dr. Brown Bear, can you fix Pedro's glasses? No, I can't. You'll need an optician for that. An optician is a doctor who knows about glasses. My daddy's an optician. Hello, Dr. Pony speaking. A pair of glasses not working, you say? I'm on my way. Hello, Daddy. Hello, son. What seems to be the problem? My glasses aren't working. Can you read this chart? No, my glasses aren't working. Why, these glasses just need a good clean. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Daddy. Dr. Pony has fixed Pedro's glasses. Hooray! Thank you, doctors. Everything is back to normal. But Tiddles needs helping too. Hmm, its legs are wiggling in the air. It seems to be upside down. Can you doctors help a tortoise in trouble? No, I'm afraid we can't treat animals. Oh. You need a vet. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for coming to read your new book to us today. It's very exciting. These books are so new, I haven't even opened one yet. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book. So we must listen politely, even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four, seven, six, eight, five, nine, three...
Oh. The rest of the book is one big long number. I don't understand. This is not what I wrote. What is 4768599? It's George's Happy Mrs Chicken High School. Wow, that is a high school. But where's my funny onion story? It's gone. I'm sorry, children, but I can't read Funny Onion to you today. Oh. Can you remember the story, Mummy Pig? Yes. Then just tell us the rest. All right. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. <laughs> All he wanted was to make people laugh. But he made people cry instead because he was an onion. <laughs> what a beautiful, sad ending. Uh, no, wait, Madam Gazelle. It's not finished. Oh, I see. Carry on. Funny Onion said... I will search the world to learn how to be funny. He met a tomato. The tomato said, wear a funny hat. But people still cried. <laughs> he met a banana who said, wear some funny shoes. But people still cried. <laughs> funny Onion was ready to give up when a pineapple whispered in his ear. What do you think the pineapple said? Wear a funny red nose. Wear a purple wig. Very good. But what the pineapple really said was, do something funny. Oh, it is almost Halloween, children. And we are going to have a pumpkin competition. Ooh. Have you all brought in your pumpkins? Yes. yes. I grew my pumpkin from a seed. My mummy bought my pumpkin from the supermarket. I've got a pumpkin that's made out of plastic. Uh, I haven't got my pumpkin here because Grandpa is still growing it. Fine. Just remember to decorate your pumpkins and bring them back here for the competition tonight. <laughs> there will be prizes for everyone. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come to collect pepper. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! Have you got my pumpkin for the competition tonight? Don't worry, Peppa. Your pumpkin is safe and sound in my greenhouse. Is my pumpkin big, Grandpa? Oh, yes. This is Grandpa Pig's greenhouse. May I present your pumpkin? Grandpa! It is the biggest pumpkin in the world. Quite possibly. But how are we going to get such a huge pumpkin to the playgroup? One step at a time, Granny Pig. We need to make this pumpkin into a lantern. Ooh. First, I will scoop out all the inside. <laughs> now we cut out the face. <laughs> and we put a candle inside to make it glow. Lovely! <laughs> now we put the pumpkin into the car. <laughs> the pumpkin is very, very heavy. <laughs> There. Step one complete. We're out of the greenhouse. Come on, Daddy! Daddy can't keep up. <laughs> Wait for me. Pepper and George have arrived at Playgroup. Bye-bye, <laughs> Daddy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on. I've got wheels. Whee! Ha <laughs> ha! This is fun! <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. <laughs> brum, brum. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Peppa and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> 
Very good, Peppa and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. <laughs> Race you! Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, okay. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy, Daddy, you brought our scooters. <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. I have bread, cheese, jam, porridge, yogurt. May I have carrots for my breakfast, please? Yes, you may. Can I have cereal, please? Of course you can. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, can I have toast, please? Yes, Susie. I shall make you some toast. Does anyone else want toast? No, thank you. OK, the bread goes in here, and we push this lever down. The toaster gets very hot, so please do not touch it. And wait for it. It's coming any minute. Hoppla! Ooh! Caught it! Wow! Can I have toast, please? And and me, and me. And me. Everybody wants toast for breakfast. Well, in that case, I will have to use the big toaster. Ooh! It's a super toaster. <laughs> Plates ready, everyone. Wait for it. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> everyone has caught their toast. Again! Again! Again. No, children. Eat the toast you have first. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have honey on my toast, please? Can I have marmalade, please? Of course, children. I'm having strawberry jam on mine. <laughs> I'm having honey, marmalade and strawberry jam on my toast. <laughs> 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 I'm getting lots of energy in my tummy. So am I. I'm getting strawberry jam energy. I'm getting honey jam and marmalade energy. Everyone <laughs> has lots and lots of energy. And now it is time for us to do a breakfast bounce. Follow me. <laughs> Use the energy from the food to get our bodies and minds ready for the day. Copy me, children. Egg, apple, yogurt, pancake and toast. Which one for breakfast do I like the most? Toast, honey, egg, jam, toast, toast, toast. The school roof is leaking again. Oh, didn't I fix this roof for you before, Madam Gazelle? Yes, Mr. Bull, but still it goes drippity drip drip. It's probably a broken roof tile. I wonder if it's this one. Has the dripping stopped? No, it's dripping more. Maybe these are the broken tiles. Is that any better? No, it's getting worse. Hmm, this is a big hole you've got here. It's gonna cost a lot of money to fix. Oh dear, where shall we get the money to mend the school roof this time? My daddy did a parachute jump for charity. He floated down and made lots of money. Hooray! Good idea, Pedro. Hands up who thinks their mummy or daddy would like to do a parachute jump. My mummy. My, 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 my daddy. My daddy. My daddy. Me. We need just one. Pepper and George have arrived back home. 
Mummy, the school roof is leaking. Again. Is it, darling? Yes. Madam Gazelle says it needs a lot of money to mend. Yes, yes, I'm sure it does. She asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Pepper. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, Mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for agreeing to jump from an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray for, for Mummy Pig! <laughs> It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. How many children does it take to lift Madam Gazelle? One. A hundred. Ten hundred. <laughs> You're all just guessing. What's the answer? I don't know, but we can use an experiment to find out. Who wants to try and lift Madame Gazelle? Me! Me! Oh, I can't lift her! Madame Gazelle is too heavy for one child to lift. Let's try two children. <laughs> She's very heavy! Madame Gazelle is too heavy for two children to lift. Let's try three children. <laughs> it takes three children to lift Madame Gazelle. We just did some simple science. It was fun. <laughs> Let's do another experiment. Yes! <laughs> Make a tower of blocks. Very good, but the tower looks a bit wobbly. How can we make the tower less wobbly? Um, put the big blocks at the bottom and the small blocks at the top. Fantastic! Edmund Elephant is a clever clog. Can we do more experiments? Of course. Who can tell me their favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And what do we need to make a muddy puddle? Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Pepper, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Pepper. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Children, today a new friend is joining our playgroup. Say hello to Gerald. Hello, Gerald. Hello. Wow, you're really tall, so you must be really old. No, Gerald is the same age as you. Why is he so tall then? I'm tall because I'm a giraffe. I'm taller. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You measure to the top of the ears. Oh, do ears count? Gerald Giraffe is the tallest. Oh, I wish I was as tall as Gerald. And me. And me. And me. And me. It is playtime. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. OK. One, two... While Pepper three, counts to ten, four, everyone must five, find a hiding six, place. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Found you, Gerald. <laughs> oh, you didn't find me. Or me. Or me. Or me. Or me. <laughs> I always get found because I'm so tall. Oh, it's not much fun being tall. I have to bend down to talk to everyone. I have to bend down to talk to George. Hello, George. What's it like being little? <laughs> Let's play ball. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Maybe I'll play later. Gerald Giraffe doesn't want to play because he is sad. To you, Danny. To you, Pedro. Catch, Peppa. <laughs> The ball is stuck in the tree. I can't reach it. Let me have a go. 
<laughs> no, it's too high. What can we do? Chop the tree down! No! I can get it with my trunk. <sighs> no, I can't. If Emily can't reach it with her trunk, then we'll never get our ball back. Children, today we have very important visitors. The police are coming to our playgroup. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, no, Nina. It's dee -daw, dee -daw, no, it's Dido, Dido, Dido. Police cars go. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, Nina, 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 Nina. Yes, yes. If I might explain, what I was about to say was police. The police. Here are the police. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That is how the police say hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello, hello. hello. <laughs> I'm Police Officer Squirrel. And I'm Police Officer Panda. We're going to teach you how to ride your bicycle safely. Ooh. Right, let's see you all riding your bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Look where you're going. Always keep your ears and eyes open. And stop. Well done, children. Now, suppose you're riding your bike along and someone steps out in front of you. What do you do? Um, uh... I would ring my bell. Very good. Ringing your bell lets others know you are there. Can you all show me how good you are at ringing bells? <laughs> um... I don't have a bell. I have a horn. A horn is just as good as a bell. Could you give your horn a tiny little toot so that we can all... Yes, that should be sufficient to alert the public of your approach. Now for the last bit of the lesson. Where is he going? Police Officer Panda is driving to the bottom of the hill. Calling Police Officer Squirrel. Over. Can you read me? Over. Read you loud and clear. Over. The police have special phones to talk to each other. Children, today Dr Brown Bear is coming to show us an ambulance. I like ambulances. Ambulances. Ambulance. Says. <laughs> Will the ambulance go? Nina, Nina, Nina. Yes, thank Nina. you, Freddy. I'm sure it will. Here is Dr. Brown Bear. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Brown Bear. Hello, children. Does anybody know what this is called? It's an ambulance. An ambulance? And who can tell me what it's for? Taking sick people to the hospital. That's right. Can we hear the Nina Nina sound, please? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we normally use that only in a real emergency. Dr. Brown Bear, can you show us what you would do in a real emergency? Yes, I'll show you. Using this teddy and this ball. Ooh. One day... Teddy was playing football when, whoopsie, he tripped over the ball. Somebody calls for the ambulance. Freddy, would you mind making the ambulance noise, please? Nina, Nina, <laughs> Nina! First thing I do is see if the person is awake. Are you awake? Yes, Doctor. Do you know your name? My name is Mr. Teddy. Can you tell me what happened, Mr. Teddy? I tripped over a football. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's put that football where no one else can trip over it. Now, tell me, Mr. Teddy, which bit hurts? My arm hurts. We just need to bandage that arm up. And because you have been such a brave boy, you get a sticker. And that's how the ambulance works. So now I would like you all to imagine you are that tree, rooted to the rocky mountain top, bending in the wind. You are a tree. Your feet are rooted to the ground. Feel the wind in your branches and the sun on your leaves. You are a tree. 
Very good, children. I saw some lovely trees on mountain tops there. Now, listen to this piece of music. What did that music make you think of? Remember to use your imaginations. I know. Pedro? Is the answer a cherry tree swaying on the top of a beautiful mountain? Hmm, but this music was quicker, wasn't it? A cherry tree swaying quickly? Danny? It reminded me of a marching band. Very good, Danny. <laughs> this music has a very strong beat for stepping in time. Everyone, find something to bang from the music trolley. <laughs> Imagine you are in that band, marching along, beating your drums. Marvellous marching, children. Wasn't that fun? Yes, my <laughs> The next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Uh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future! 